Congratulations, Kirin, you've extended your contract. Thank you, yeah. thank you. How are you feeling? I feel very good, feel very happy, excited. Um, so, um, yeah, it's not that I'm ready to start because I've been here a while now, but uh, I'm really looking forward to the next years. Okay, you've uh, signed the contract until 2026. Um, how did it go on? Because we understood that you had some interest from abroad. From abroad. How did the negotiations go? Uh, no, we, we started, I think, almost, yeah, almost not six months ago, but I think we had to st start with some small chats that we had uh, during the time. And uh, eventually, in the end, I, I felt this, this was probably the best thing for me and, and my family also. I am a father now also, so it's a different responsibility also. Uh, I love Mechelen and, uh, and I love all the things with the club. Uh, it's a good club with both the fans and also the team and teammates that I have. And... Uh, the three years I've, I've been here, it's been an amazing time. And um, in the end, even if I had some interest abroad, it, I was most thinking about what, what will make me and my family the most happiest, both for myself, both football-wise, also on the pitch and also off the pitch. So uh, even if it took uh, some few weeks to negotiate and everything, I think in the end we, we were all satisfied and happy. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm excited and I really look forward to it. So mostly the, the, the family guy deciding, okay, you need to stay here and be consistent. Are there other things that convinced you to stay here? No, but also with the football things. Like since I came here, I, I believe that we play in a very attractive football that's been amazing to play. Uh, fix, it fits more my style also compared to where I've been before. Like in, in England when I was playing in the championship, it was more of a duel and, and fighting while coming here to Belgium. Okay, it's a very tough league, very physical, but also very attractive where you have teams that can play very good football. And I think also with Mechelen, both with, like I said, with the fans also having a full stadium almost most all, all the games of the year. Um, I think that made also the decision that I'm, I'm very happy with the football and I'm enjoying playing football every day. Uh, Compared to maybe what I was before. Okay, and it's it's not that you felt like there were like unfinished business because last season you stood aside like half of the season and yeah you needed to be there immediately immediately when you were game fit. Yeah. So it wasn't the best season for the whole team. Last season. For sure, for sure, it was a completely different season both for me and the team. Also, we we started with a, another coach. We started with a lot of changes, new players, uh, and it, that took time to adjust. And then, yeah, almost halfway into the season, we we brought Steve and, and Fred to work with each other and trying to not save the season, but trying to make the best out of the thing that it was. Um, and for myself also, being injured for five, six months, it was just the hunger to come back. Like you said, maybe unfinished business, but and, and also like a revenge to prove to myself and, and for other people that yeah, even an injury is not going to stop me. I, I just wanted to come back. Um, okay, we, we, we weren't so good in the league. We had an amazing time during the, the cup. Very unfortunate that we didn't win that cup. But I feel like since I came here, we are, we are getting closer and closer to, to like the European spots. Even if last year we were 90 minutes away from the European spots. And I think also me as a person and as a, as a player, I, I, I want to win everything. I want to come as far as possible. And... Uh, Mechele may be not the biggest club in Belgium, but I feel for sure that they have the potential to, to, to be very successful. Still a trophy to win, by the way. Exactly. <laughs> um, did you notice any similarities with the, the time you signed in 2020, your first contract here? Did you notice any things that were the same or completely different? I thought for, for sure, I think it's been developing a lot, both how <laughs> where the structure is in the club, both for the players and also I think for, for, you, for you guys that are working and also that everybody's working in a different direction. And I think every year they are developing, they are coming new people with new ideas and, and people maybe are coming back with the older ideas that was kind of good. So. I think both how we are working with from everything from the kitchen to the physical room to the treatment to everything I think has been going up a level every time, which I think is very good also for players to even arrive here. So I would say even if I would arrive three years ago or now, I think it will be a very big difference, mm -hmm. but better. So uh, um, the club has been developing also a lot and I think, uh, yeah. Um, I think uh, it can develop even more, but yeah, it will come. It's not that often that like uh, people from outside of Belgium become like a, a persistent player here in, in, in Mechelen. 
but you've almost reached the, the 100 cap. People like to see you, uh, people from in the stands, they come to the stadium because of you. You've become a real Mechela, didn't you? Yeah, I think so also because uh, I I felt also directly when I came. I think for first of all, like the teammates that are here, I think it's very easy to get into this group. It's a it's a very, very nice group and also with the staff of members and people that are working around the club. So most of the times if you if you if you are really open and social and trying, I think it's very easy to get into the thing. And then I think also with the performance that I had in the club, I felt like I was doing well and okay, I don't understand the media, I don't read the media, I don't understand what the fans are saying so much, but I feel like I'm getting appreciated both from, from fan side and, and from people around the club. So I think that also makes my decision kind of easier also to to stay. Um, so of course, I, I hope to make even more caps and, and, and provide as much as possible and create some history. Did you, um, are you trying to understand the guys are you trying to speak so metals or, or <laughs> yeah it's hard to say because the language is like you and i spoke a little bit before the interview that flemish is or netherlands is kind of similar to swedish i understand more and during the three years i've been here it's every day i hear somebody speaking and i also like to to be involved and, and trying to understand as much as possible but you also have the french part that is completely different it's kind of hard to understand so uh, I'm trying my best to understand and, and everything, but in general, Belgium is kind of a very international language, uh, international country where everybody speaks English also. So uh, there is a few Swedish places and some S Swedish people, also Scandinavians that are around the world, and especially in Belgium. So uh, it makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so we just talked about you, if everything goes well, reach the, the cap of 100 games. You're about to pass. Uh, an ancient uh, Swedish player for Kave Mechelen, Klaus Ingesson. Do you know anything about him? Because when people talk about Kave Mechelen and Sweden, most of the time Klaus Ingesson comes up. Yeah. And now you're about to pass him, so that makes so uh, yeah. Of like course, yeah. He, he had a good career, and I think also of me, I'm born the same year as he has probably had the, the best uh, record with Sweden when they came third place in the in the World Cup in, our, in US, 94. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago by sickness. And um, yeah, he's a legend, both in Sweden and that he's a legend here. So, yeah, of course, it's an honor to pass him. And uh, it's still nice that people recognize him because, yeah, it's very nice. In the three years that are about to come, that the, the period that you just signed uh, signed your contract here, what are the things you would like to achieve with the team by yourself? Individually wise, I think for sure I want to become a, a leader for this team. And I feel like I've been growing every year as a person and as a leader also to, to help the young guys that are here because I feel like Belgium is a very good football country wise and, and young talents you have everywhere. And I think also I can be the person that can motivate especially the young guys and also keep pushing for players to arrive to Mechelen. And then as a collective, I think for sure, I, w I want to reach the Europe spots. I want to create history, I want to win titles, um, maybe not this year or, or next year, but whoever knows, Mechelen can, can make a change. And uh, I hope I can be the person to push some other and the other one can push the other one. So. Uh, for me, I just want to have a, a very good time and, and, and enjoy football like I'm doing now. And, but at the same time, I also want to win titles and I want to create history with the club and with the players we have now. So those next years will, will, will of course, be very, very interesting and funny, but I'm, I'm really excited and I'm looking forward to it. Okay, congrats on the extension. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for staying. Thank you.